this track. That's the fast, second fastest performance ever. When we look at the rest of this field, you got three Jamaicans in the field, some of the top American sprinters, along with Richardson, T.T. Terry, Dean Asher Smith, the reigning world champion at 200 meters, absolutely loaded for this Nike, or excuse me, Xfinity women's 100 meters. Carrie Richardson in lane number three. Nice start for Dina Asher Smith. Elaine Thompson raw now up and steady. Trying to hold off the field on the Olympic champion. Does it again. Not as fast as last year, but a decisive win here in 1079. As we'll wait that to go official, but Olympic champions do what Olympic champions do. A great run for Elaine thompson Harash. She just looked like a veteran the entire race. She never quite dominated the field, but she always looked safe like she was going to win. So we'll flash back to the start of this race. thompson Harash, they're right in the middle of the track. Shakari there in lane three also had a decent start. You see Elaine down for the majority of this race. She comes up and she just controls the field. But look at Shakari. They're in the middle of the track. She will finish second in 1092, which is really good for this young superstar who's really just getting back. This is just her second race of the season. And she'll be proud. And, and this is all about mental for Shakari. How is she going to be able to come back on this track after the disappointment of last season? Finishing ninth here on this track. She came back out and made a pretty big statement. Sharika Jackson there in third. And Jackson, one of those medalists in Tokyo again. So building that confidence. Shakari did not have the opportunity to compete at the Olympic Games. She needs to make the U.S. team in less than a month here in Eugene. But thinking about maybe that step to have a chance to go up against the best in the world come July here at Hayward Field for Oregon 22. Look ahead to the 